this is tutorial script of students versus IC615. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to do post layout simulation and uh, how to uh, find the number of parasitics that are in your layout. So, first of all, once you are done with your uh, layout, as we have done in earlier tutorial, so uh, mm, second step is you go for new, you create a new cell view, okay, where you are going. Let's give it test. I want to give it test inverter. Okay, and view here change it to schematic okay so this is like same schematic i am doing here so i am going to use the symbol of inverter here okay for that i'll press this i or instant browse i'll go to cadence to inverter and i'll use this symbol So first of all, I have to take the wires from these port connections. Okay, now I'll give you, I'll be giving pins which are uh, in VDD, GND. They are as an input pins. Okay, so. in this is VDD this is GND and then I go for out that is an output pin I'll connect it here I'll connect it with this in out label I'll give in and out Here in, here out. I'll save it. So first of all, I, I'll do simple uh, simulation for this one. Okay. Layout ADL. I launch. Since this in this symbol is same to my uh, ex actually inverter uh, circuit, so I'll be using that state only. So there is no need to load uh, to create new state for this one. So I'll create this inverter here. Select state one. Okay. And I'll run it once. Taking some time. Searching for lessons. So I use so far what I have done is I have I am creating a new file where I am using the symbol of my inverter of that layout and uh, this is the schematic view now I'll be creating one view of post uh, this extracted so that I can compare both the simulations so this is the I done simulation so I'll, I'll I'll save this state for my future purpose so once I saved I'll close it and uh, I'll close this window also. Now th this is very important this step, I will go to this test inverter, I will select this and I will go file, new, I will file, new, cell view, ok, and here this is important, view I will select a config, See, config is like an interface, like uh, it is a window where you can change the different uh, views of your uh, circuit, like for example sometimes you want to simulate the uh, schematic, you can select the view as a schematic in config. The next time you want to lay out, you want AV extract, so it's like that, or you want to go for very log AM simulation, which I'll be discussing later. So the first thing is I select this view here, config, okay. So this window is there. It will ask me the okay, cab cadence, library, and cell. It will, it will ask me the view, which view I want to keep here. So I want it here, schematic, schematic, okay. And the uh, tool which I'm going to use for my simulation, since I'm using spectra here. I'll be inspector, okay, and okay. So if you see here, 
this is the view and it's flex flex tension view for example for now i want schematic so it is schematic i when i am doing simulation it will give me the schematic simulation so next time when i am going again i can choose this avx factor and whenever you change the view you have to update it here okay so now this time when i do simulation it will give me the post layout simulation like it will give me the simulation of the extracted view okay so once you are done with it you just close it you have closed it again you go to the same test inverter cell and uh, double click on this view and keep this also as a yes okay so it will launch this schematic view of my or oh, it is extracted so i'll keep it as a schematic first first we'll do schematic then we'll do So I'll launch ADL again. I'll the save uh, state I saved earlier. I'll launch that also, and I'll run it. And one more thing is here in this plotting. I'll make it append. This append means when I'm going to simulate it again, it won't replace the earlier uh, curve. It will plot that uh, next curve on the earlier one. And the thing this inverter in it, it's an ideal source, so, so there won't be any effect on in. So I'll uh, I won't plot it. Okay. I'll run it. So it will take some time for ch checking the license. Um, by that time, I'll keep it here. So once we are doing the simulation, we have to remember the uh, rise time and fall time because when we go for post layout channel, there will be some uh, increase in rise time and fall time because of the parasitic capacitors. In case of inverter, it won't be much. But if you go for a higher circuit, there will be a lot of parasitics. Okay, so this is the out the VTC curve. This is the transient. Okay, for now, let it be like that. Okay, and you remember this rise time is here 71.9 picoseconds and fall time is 36 picoseconds. Okay, and uh, one more thing is here. If you go in this netlist, you see here the nodes are four, transistors which I am using are two only in case of PMOS. And sources are three. Okay, so this is this is the simulation of simple schematic. Now I'll do post layout. For post layout, I'll go here in tree view. I'll select, uh, click on here, and I'll select AV extract view, and I'll update it. Okay, so once I updated it, again I'll go to my ADL window. I'll run it. Waiting for license. <clears throat> so in cadence uh, in, in the updated IC615 even in, if you if you use IC616 they have they are adding a lot of utilities there GUI in the GUI so which which help in designing um, circuits and layouts also so I I believe that if someone is very uh, very expert in cadence and if you, if you can find all the utilities in cadence uh, half of the work will be done by the cadence only but at the end of the day you shouldn't you should not trust this tool too much because because i have observed that uh, in in layouts it, it will do some connections like there is automatic routing concept is there it will do the routing but when you go for lvs it will give you lvs error so again it's difficult to debug so first of all if you go to netlist file so earlier there are only uh, four nodes here now there are 10 nodes this is post layout and uh, transistors are to see in earlier one there was no capacitor so there are nine capacitors here and six resistors so overall there are 15 parasitics in my inverter so you can you can see in simple two transistor there are 15 how many can be there in open no but uh, i can tell you this is a simple way to do layouts last time i did i think i had some seven seven parasitics overall so this is how to find the number of parasitics in our layout now what is the effect some effect will be there due to parasitics see it has increased earlier it was uh, rise time it was uh, i think 39 something now it is 59 and this fall time it has decreased it was 31 now it is 26 because of the capacitor parasitic because of the parasitic capacitor charging and discharging is happening and uh, also if you want to see in your uh, this results if i will zoom it you can see it here see two curves are there this is parasitic Oh, sorry, this is because uh, fall time is very small. This is your this is post layout simulation. This is simple simulation. Again, VTC also you can see here. 
Since it is DC, there won't be much difference here. I'll leave as said it will be only on. No, there is not much effect. But again, it is an inverter, it is only two transfer. So, so this is how we do post layout simulations.